And Maya, if you're determined to live a plant-based, sustainably chic lifestyle, mother-daughter duo Karen and Maya might be right up your alley. Something helpful to know is that when you see Tea Time with Maya, they are drinking tea made from herbs they planted, grew, and harvested in their own garden. Something else to know about Karen and Maya, they are La Crusade fanatics. And even that might be understating it. They have lots of plant-based cooking videos and tips. And they make some vegan dishes that I don't even know could be veganized. Is that a word? Their garden is planted with lots of goodies from vegetables to pollinator favorites that maybe you can't eat but still are pretty. Divided between containers and raised beds. Karen and Maya's channel has a chic flair indeed, and they sometimes share their sustainable decor updates, um, as well as like other interior decorating clips. So if you're into plant-based lifestyle, sustainable living with repurposing and recycling, or you just want to see how the garden has grown since they've moved from Germany to the U.S., Karen and Maya are waiting for you. White Shoulders, Boer Goats, and Farmstead. What is it that draws so many goat lovers to Missouri? White Shoulder, Boer Goats, and Farmstead isn't just goats. They also share footage of the care and the processing of some of the other livestock on the farmstead. Well, except for those guys. A lot of their vlogs, though, are about goat herds and their management. They show everything from goat pedicures to the really detailed, graphic, goaty stuff. They also show other stuff in detail, so <laughs> check the titles before you click and, you know, make sure there are videos that you cannot unsee that you actually want to see. But White Shoulders, Boer Goats, and Farmstead shows plenty of non-graphic yet entertaining and practical views around the farmstead. It's really a good glimpse into the world of boar goat breeding while also maintaining a farmstead away from goats like the cows and pigs and chickens. So if you're curious about boar goats, the breeding, buying, selling processes, or maybe you just love like farm chores or <laughs> watching somebody else do them, white shoulder boar goats and farmstead stand out. At least about a shoulder, right? <laughs> Check them out. Sylvia's Off-Grid Hawaiian Homestead. Is it possible to live on a Hawaiian island off-grid on $750 a month and homestead? Sylvia's Off-Grid Hawaiian Homestead answers this question with quite brutal honesty on her homestead YouTube channel. Dealing with everything that life on the island throws at her like uh recently it's been neighbors who moved to the island thinking it's the perfect place to let their dogs roam and experience all that nature sylvia painstakingly created has to offer preparing for storms and and weather anomalies of island life she shows frugal living and how to run a modest homestead on a modest budget and still live a very full life. So if you want the lowdown on off-grid homesteading away from the mainland on a fixed income, Sylvia's off-grid Hawaiian homestead is the way to go. Mother and daughter plant-based dynamic duo, boar goats dominating the farmstead, off-grid island living on a fixed income. Are these your people? Wait a minute! Watch this. Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and I'm giving away a Mossy Oak Gamekeeper Dehydrator. The retail value is about $50, but the cash isn't up for grabs. The dehydrator is. And if you want one for yourself, you just have to be subscribed to Healthy Homestead Chick. You don't even have to be subscribed to me. And you need to comment her video, the link is below. So uh, all you got to do is look at those official rules and go over to her page, comment the correct video, and the drawing will be held at the place down there. Silly me, I forgot to mention, there's also two Visa cards for $25 each. And the first 
person that's chosen gets to choose, you know, whether they want the dehydrator or a Visa card. And then the next person down, they'll choose if they want whatever, you know, the choices are between the two that are left. And then the third one, well, you just get whatever's left.